Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah. This is Bjorn Rogar speaking from Athens, Greece, and here I am with another video to refute the Christian uh, missionary verses. And this time we're going to go to the Gospel according to Matthew. Finally, we left the Gospel according to John. So we're going to the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 9, verses 27 to 29, where Christian missionaries love to quote when they debate people. And they say, oh, look, he restored their sight. So he must be God, right? The problem is that people who quote these verses, they only know these verses. They have never read their Bibles. Otherwise, they wouldn't dare quote these verses if they were honest. Because... Even in Islam, we know that Jesus Christ, peace upon him, performed numerous miracles. He healed the sick, the blind, the lepers, by God's permission. He gave back life to the dead by God's permission. Anyway, so, the account is where it says, when Jesus departed from there, two blind men followed him. There's a contradiction here, but that's not the, that's not the issue here crying out and saying, Son of David, have mercy on us. And when he came into the house, the blind men came to him. And Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I'm able to do this? They said to him, Oh, yes, you can. So he touched their eyes and said, According to your faith, listen to this, According to, their, to your faith, let it be to you. So basically he was saying, Allah, Leave it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And their eyes were opened. So Jesus warned them, Don't tell anyone about this. See that no one knows it. Now, this is not something new, ladies and gentlemen. And to you Christians who have never actually read your own Bible, this will be a shock. Let's go to the second book of Kings, chapter 6, verse 17, and then verse 18, then verse 20. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, meaning God, I pray, open his eyes that he may see. Then the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. Ah, oh, second book of Kings 6.18. So when the Syrians came down to him, Elisha prayed to the Lord and said, Strike! Strike this people, I pray, with blindness. Look, and... He struck them with blindness according to the word of Elisha. According to the word of who? Elisha. Two verses later, verse 20. So it was, when they had come to Samaria, he told them to follow him. <laughs> How stupid. <laughs> Elisha said, Lord, open, uh, open the eyes of these men that they may see. And the Lord opened their eyes. And so they were inside Samaria and they were surrounded. <laughs> and they couldn't do anything. <laughs> so this is not something new, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway. The miracles of Jesus are not something new. They're actually very old, very old news, especially if you've read the Old Testament. But that's it for today, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry that it was short. Uh, and I hope I'll we'll see you in the next video. Consider like, sharing, subscribing, okay, or even disliking. You know what I'm going to say. Choose the truth. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.